before we start today, I want to give a big massive shout out to the Razor Toss Beard Company, located here in North Bay, Ontario. Go to RazorToss.com and you'll see RazorToss.com um, randomly sent me this really nice t-shirt. So um, if you have a beard and you have some desire to make your beard look and feel and smell fantastic, then uh, RazorToss.com. Freaking do it. Be going down, people of the world. My name is Redbeard, and this is yet another Daily Drink Vlog. Thanks a bunch for joining me. For the beer of the today, we've got a can of the Sociable Pilsner by the Common Good Brewing Company out of Toronto, Ontario, coming in at an ABV that I failed to look at when I grabbed the can. 4.7. Kind of average Pilsner. Um... Yeah, this was gifted to me by the awesome people at Common Good Brewing at the Burlington Winter Beer Fest that happened uh, a month ago or so at this point. I can't fully remember what the date was, but uh, I've had a few of their beers up to this point, and they have yet to really disappoint. So with that in mind, it's been a while since I've had just a kind of easy drinking Pilsner, like IPAs and stouts and all these other crazy things that I tend to gravitate towards. Let's... Let's have something nice and clean and crisp. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm not sure, but hopefully. A little bit of head on there. Oh yeah, that is clear. Very, very, very clear. May a little tiny bit of haze going on. Also some chill haze, because you know, I like some of my pilsners cold. Put a finger of bright white fluffy head. Bready, kind of biscuity, I guess you'd say. Malty. No hint of any kind of hop aromas. No flowery or citrusy or fruity stuff. It smells like a pilsner. Let's give her a shot. Oh, yeah. That was a fail. That's quite nice. Got a really nice level of that uh, kind of caramelly malt flavor that I really like. It's not like in your face with it, but that's... That's a very nice beer. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody, and so many cheers to the wonderful folks at Razor Toss. The beard's a pretty big fan of you. I mean common good, but also Razor Toss. Oh my god. Cross promo in one video, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> ah, that's really funny. Um, Common Good Beer. We're bringing it to Common Good Beer, which is, uh, it, yeah, I have to do that and that. Good job, me. There you go. Like I said, they're in Toronto, somewhere in Toronto. I'm not sure where in Toronto, but at some point in my time, I will get down to Toronto and I will visit the brewery. You're damn right. Pretty flavorful for a Pilsner. It's not, not as bland. It's been a little while since I've had a Pilsner, so I was kind of remembering a little bit of blandness, I guess. This, no, it's good. Very nice. Very clean. Um, is there really anything else to read on this can? Oh, wait, there is actually. You know who's having a good time? The sociable Pilsner is. That's who. In the style of the traditional German Pilsners we revere, this fella's light and crisp with an elegant whole, whole melon. Hop note. 35 IBUs. That's funny. That's the same hop that Chad, the albino rhino, and I used when we brewed our albino's red beard. It was a rhino's red beard, it was called, actually. At the, uh, at the Cayman Kettle a couple years ago. There's something of a date on here. I think some, sometime in November of last year, from what I was seeing, which is acceptable. I'm not sure, I don't think, I don't know if they're listed in the LCBO anywhere. I wonder if we can, let's see if we can discover 
shall we? If I do a little alti tabby, alti tab, alti tab, and then LCBO right there. Load the page. Thank you. No, go back to the top of the page. Tap that, that. There you go. There. Thank you. And we go. Come on. Good. Nothing. So, yeah. Like, I feel like. You know what? This label is like full on LCBO ready if they wanted to. So, with that in mind, like, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dock like a, a, a half a point. Because why wouldn't you put your ingredients on? Why not? Some of the ones you only, you could, that are brewery only exclusives, like the labels are very, very minimalistic and the nothing on them kind of thing. But I don't know. I just, I feel like there's no reason to not have your ingredients on that beer. I can't recall if they were on the uh, Caught in an Eddy Session IPA. And Ushanka, the Russian Imperial Stout, that had like a hand-wrapped kind of label thing going on. So that one was a little more. But even so, the, the effort that was put into the label, put ingredients on there. It's not hard. Just hops and malt and water and yeast and if you got anything else then let people know because if you don't put it then it makes you think like is there something else in there are you adjuncting up your beers and not telling people no, I'm just saying that's not what I want to do at all there we go yeah it's about seven and a half minutes gonna take a break Pilsner, <clears throat> not bad. Like, not something <clears throat> I gravitate towards these days, but I got no problem with it. It's just, I guess, compared to, you know, the crazy stouts and really crazy IPAs and crazy sours that I tend to go for, this is a little on the blander side but very decent transition beer if you're the kind of person who buys blue bud Coors canadian any of the other stupid conglomerates trying to take over the world and you want to maybe support something a bit more local give that a try drink number last speaking of drink number last i failed two oh, i fell through that too nice I didn't even search. Good stuff. Come on. So she of oh, there we go. Bam. Untapped search algorithm, whatever the hell it is they have going on. Glorious. Glorious. I think it corrects words that you spell wrong. It's just it's it's wonderful. Uh 3.37 out of 5 with 1317 ratings. Ratings. Right, ratings. Uh, um Yeah, it's good. My personal rating on this, common good, your sociable pilsner, I'm giving that a 7, 0.5. <clears throat> as far as a pilsner goes, it's damn tasty. And if you haven't tried it and you can find it, then I recommend you try it. And then I recommend you leave a comment down below so you can start the conversation. Yeah, end of the video. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up button in the face. If you want to see more, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Bell notifications so you know when new videos are released. I want to go live play the video games, which doesn't happen as often as I want it to. Because stupid life is freaking busy beer fest happening first red beard beer fest happening may 23rd here in north bay get your tickets redbeardfestival.ca but make sure and spell beard like that um yeah i'll be back with something with this tomorrow peace out still got at least one or two other beers by these guys in the fridge and i'm pretty sure nothing is going to beat ushanka the uh, Russian Imperial Stout, but it's still fun to try new things.